Well, hello, and uh, welcome to my world. <laughs> my name is Augustus Green, and I am a Bukla enthusiast and also a performing member of the band The Galaxy Electric. Um, I've been using Bukla since December of 2013. Uh, right around the time that uh, the then company Bukla Electronic Musical Instruments, BEMI, released their uh, rendition of the music easel. And I've been enjoying Bukla ever since. The banana cables, the tiny jacks. I uh, actually love that the control voltages are separate from the audio um, as compared to some of the other modular formats out there. Um, and today's patch is, um, sort of a, I, I call it a pseudo sequence, um, that is generated by, uh, cascading the, uh, pulses and functions of the quad envelope generator model 280. Now, um, most of you who are into Bukla may have heard of the 281, which is the, uh, much more popular and much more modern um, feature-wise um, version, which is the, um, uh, also in the E-series as well as the Clone World um, and also an original 200-series module. Well, this is the 280, and the 280 um, doesn't quite have the same feature set. However, you can do a lot of what you can do with the 281 uh, with the exception of manipulating the attack and decay times with control voltage. Um so I'll just explain, you know, here by pointing it out, but like, so, um, I'm just going to get this starting. So you're hearing, uh, the first pulse generate, which is then cascading to the input of the second envelope generator. Um, these are all opening the four gates of the quad 292C, uh, low pass gate. Um, so that's where your volume is coming from for each, uh, pulse. So the function completes, um, then a pulse is generated, and it's um, opening up the third and then fourth uh, envelope generator. And then it's going back to the first. So it starts but manually and then continues to cycle because I have the, the last step manipulating the first. And um, all the attacks are set to the fastest time. And the decays are sort of what's controlling the um, length of the function as well as the speed of the uh, pulse that's generated. So if I increase the decay times for all of them, you hear the whole thing going a little faster. And then you can sort of add some variation to the time. as I manipulate the decays. So I've also got um, the pulse from the first envelope generator as well as the third um, going to the inputs of the 266 uh, source of uncertainty, which is one of my favorite Bukla modules um, and perhaps one of the more famous. Um, it's called the source of uncertainty because its primary function is to generate random voltages. Um, and so I've got the pulse one and three uh, outputs going to the quantized random voltages section as well as the stored random voltages section. And then I've got the respective, um, there are two different outputs for each section uh, going to the uh, pitch and timbre inputs of the dual algorithmic oscillator by 1979 modular. Very cool company, very cool modules based off of uh, the mutable instruments stuff. This one happens to be based off of braids. Um, definitely check them out at uh, 1979.ws. Um, and also for the source of uncertainty, um, there is a podcast uh, called Source of Uncertainty that is um, curated by two amazing dudes, um, Robert and Kyle. 
And I highly recommend you checking out the first episode, if not all the episodes of that podcast, because they do a deep dive on the source of uncertainty. Um, so anyway, you're hearing, you know, these voltages uh, affect the pitch and timbre. That's where you're getting sort of this random sound that's, or, or you know, pitch that's generated with the sequence, in time with the sequence. And then to make things more interesting, um, I went ahead and ran one of the outputs of the um, stored random voltages into the integrator to slew the pitch of the toy algorithm on the dual algorithmic oscillator. Um, and also I've got the fluctuating random voltages uh, going to each uh, of the color control voltage um, inputs of the dual algorithmic, that's a mouthful, uh, oscillator. Um, so you can kind of manipulate the speed at which the voltage fluctuates. And of course you hear it more the longer you generate, you generate these. There we go, you get some whammy there. Uh, but anyway, that's the basic batch, and that is the result. It's kind of a drunken sequence of sorts. Pseudo sequence. But a lot of fun nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is hopefully the first of uh, a few deep dives into patches. Um, the running title is Patch and Tell, Bukla Patch and Tell. And uh, you know, stay tuned to this YouTube channel and to this um, playlist for more additions in the future. Thanks.